Hey guys, it's DJ at ansgear.com, and this is the Planet Eclipse Ego 11. When you get your new Eclipse Ego 11, it's going to come in this nice padded zipper case. First thing you're going to see is your manual. It's full color. It's going to have uh, all your settings, how to maintain the gun, how to take it apart. Uh, it's, it's a great tool to have. Always go through it, read it. There's usually a section in the beginning that's going to just have uh, like a quick list of you know how to turn it on, how to change velocity, all that kind of stuff. So it's great to go through your manual. I always recommend it. Next you're gonna see is your barrel sock that's included. Good safety device, always use that. And then you're gonna see the gun itself. Over here, you're gonna have your spare parts kit. It's gonna have O-rings, uh, extra screws, even a uh, solenoid gasket. So pretty much everything that could uh, possibly you know, wear out or, or go bad in the marker, they include so you can change it out and uh, get your gun running as quickly as possible. On the left, on my left, you're gonna see uh, your tool kit. It's got all your Allen keys to take the gun fully apart, it includes everything you need, and this nice little uh, you know, carrying handle here. It also can be used um, to lengthen the Allen keys so you can get more torque if you're having an issue getting uh, one of the screws out. It's a, it's a very nice set they include. Up here, you're gonna have uh, your oil that comes with the marker. You're gonna use the oil on the bolt if you like. You don't need to. If you're gonna use it on the bolt, just a little bit. And on the, the ram, that's the main thing you're gonna wanna use the oil on. I personally like to use a grease on the regulator and the uh, LPR. I think it stays in place better. It's not gonna just work its way through the marker. Uh, so I use you know a grease versus the oil on the regs but you definitely want to use the oil and only the oil on the ram. Up in the top, you're going to see the uh, two-piece shaft barrel that's included. And now that we've gone through everything that comes in the case, why don't we take a look at the uh, Ego 11 itself. The Ego 11 comes in at just under two pounds with the barrel. It's uh, The barrel itself is a two-piece shaft barrel. Uh, one thing you want to remember is the two halves of the barrel are reverse threaded, so it's opposite of what you would think. So if you're trying to take the two halves apart, uh, make sure you're doing the opposite, otherwise you're just going to keep tightening it and it'll be very difficult to get apart. The bore size on the barrel is uh, 689 and it's, uh, it's 14 inches. One of the cool features that uh, Eclipse came out with on the Ego 11s is their new solenoid, which actually now will let you adjust how fast the ram moves forward and how fast the ram moves back. So if you have it moving quicker, it's gonna allow you to get faster rates of fire, or you can slow it down and make the gun like super smooth. Uh, it's really cool that you can adjust that basically on the side of the solenoid. Uh, there's two little adjustments. They're marked out so you know exactly how much you're changing it. And uh, they make it really easy to do that and make the gun just the way you like it. So it can be super fast, super smooth, or anywhere in between. It's a great feature. The uh, regulator is the SL3. It's, uh, it's like the older regs, except one of the main differences is instead of having to change out the whole piston if the reg seat goes bad, you can actually just replace the reg seat itself or even uh, flip, it, flip it over and use the other side of it. Um, that was pretty common in some other regs. Uh, Eclipse was a little different in where you'd have to change the whole piston. So it's nice that they've made that change and it just makes a, a great reg even better. Uh, another change about the reg is they now have the angled uh, collar here. So it's no longer a 90, it's a straight macro fitting coming out of there. It uh, relieves some tension that um, you can get on the macro fittings and the, the macro line. So it prevents any kind of minor leaks or anything you might get from there. Uh, the on-off ASA at the bottom here is the, uh, the 2012 uh, Pops on-off. It's, uh, it's a really cool design. You just uh, slide it back, it locks into place, engages the pin on the tank, and uh, gasses your marker up. And then you simply push it forward and it shuts it off. And it's got, you can see this silver button on the side here that's going to to lock it in place both forward and back so that it's not going to automatically turn off on accident. You've got the ZIC-2 included in the marker and also the Cure 3 bolt on the top here. On the back, you're gonna see the LCD board. 
Uh, you change all your all your features uh, right in the back. You can see what you're doing instead of having to read LED lights. So uh, that makes user error on these boards. Uh, it takes it out of the equation. You basically read what you're doing, not have to guess what color lights mean what. So that's really cool. Now the board itself is going to offer uh, both semi and ramping, capped and uncapped, uh, with a wide variety of other options too. You can obviously changing dwells and, and, and things like that. You know, it's got the brake beam eyes, dual ball detents, and the clamping feed neck. It's a cam lock style, so no tools are required. It's fantastic. The trigger fully adjustable, uh, both the forward movement, the return, uh, it's got a magnetic return, uh, and then you can choose between a uh, micro switch or a uh, holographic style uh, trigger sensitivity. So basically either the micro switch or basically the back of the trigger uh, moves between two optical sensors. and. Uh, reads the trigger instead. Some people like that because they don't like the feel of the micro switch, um, but it's it's totally up to you. You can choose either one. You can get the Ego 11 in a ton of different colors uh, that are exclusive to ANS Gear at ansgear.com.